I wish I knew about prospecting.
about Brogar. I found out Brogar is collecting protection money here in the camp. That would be his style. What a bloody evil thing to do. But it's good information. You might be able to use that at the right time, but be careful. Clay's taken over from Phil on guard duty. Good. Pair of useless assholes. Anything else for me to do? Well, maybe one thing, if you're up to it. Try me. Okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. Have you ever collected funds generously donated by those grateful for their security? Hmm. Generously donated security funds. You mean protection money. Shush! Not so bloody loud! Who are you protecting? What do you care? You want me to do this job or not? Hmm. Maybe you can succeed where that damn Dorgan failed. Well, all the folks in this camp who ain't fighters, go and tell them their monthly payment is due. Collect it, then bring the gold back to me. Simple. I'll take the job. But can I trust you? Could be you're a shifty little fish. I'll do it. Don't worry. Yeah, I want it done, and I want it done right. I found Dorgan. Yeah? Where is the lazy bastard? He's dead. His body's in a cave near the swamp. Oh, well, if he keeps some swamp creature fading off my back, it'll be the first useful thing he's done. Now, did he have anything on him? Anything at all? He had some gold on him. I'm not talking about gold. I'm talking about something else. Yes, I found a very interesting list in his pocket. Did you now? And where is it? What's the worry? This protection racket of yours is all approved, isn't it? You don't want to play games with me. Just give me that list. I'll need your protection money for this month. We work, we feed you, we bring you wood, and you still screw us workers for gold. What do you know about a sword? A golden one? Well, I've heard stuff. And I thought I may have found a piece of it back at the excavation site. Have you still got it? I was about to dig it out when those insects came. I wonder if it's still there. I'm here to collect you know what, Brannon. Pay up. Brogar got you collecting now, has he? Okay, I'll pay. But I actually want protecting this time. Brogar wants his money. Take my gold. Take everything. But leave me alone.
Brogar wants his protection money. Here, take it, and leave me in peace. I'm here for Brogar's money. What? Running Brogar's errands is no way to make friends here. Now they've got you collecting gold. Whatever you say. Now give me the money. Here. And I hope Bakaiga bites you in the ass. About your camp. Your deliveries of artifact crates will be starting again. Thanks. I didn't want to worry Esteban about that. Not after everything that's happened. By the way... Brogar has ordered me to collect protection money for him. What? Really? And who are you supposed to collect it from? From all the men here who aren't one of his fighters. He's really gone too far this time. How long has he been getting money from them? No idea. All right, just play along. Collect the gold and find out who's not paying so willingly. Then we might be able to put a nail in Brogar's coffin. He's not taking over this camp. Not while I live. I certainly wouldn't want to see him with any real power. Dorgan, one of Brogar's people, had this list on him. Can I see it, please? Seems Dorgan was helping Brogar to pocket Esteban's gold. Where is he now? Dead. I found him in a cave near the swamp. This list will help. We'll need more evidence, though, if we're to persuade Esteban Brogar is working for his own interests. Brogar some protection. For what? I don't need that great lummox to protect me. Brogar's collecting protection money. Hmm. I have my suspicions. Some of the men go through their gold almost as quickly as I pay them. Tell Rachel. Brogar needs sorting out. Nothing but trouble. I'm sure he'll get what's coming to him. Well, if there's any justice, he will. But justice ain't too common around here anymore. I'm sure you have other things to do. Clay is taking over your post. About time. Thanks. There's something for you. You'll always pay your debts. Now, I need all the rest. You're going to spend your whole life hanging around. Give me your protection money. All right. I really don't want any nastiness. What do you have to sell?
swamp farmer sent me with ten bottles of beer. Ah, I wondered when that was going to arrive. Thank you. That saved me a walk. Here, take the beer. Great. Hope Robar's doing okay out there. He's a decent man. Hard working, too. delivered your beer. Yeah? But did you get my gold? Yes, here it is. That's a sight. Now I can get Brogar off my back. Thank you. I won't forget this. Consider a favor owed. I have some Brugal weed for you. Good job. Here's your gold. I'm here to collect your protection money. What? Don't tell me you're one of Rogar's henchmen. Let's say, business partner in training. Mm. Well, I'm sure you have your reasons. But if you want protection money, first, I need some protection. I've got bog bodies wandering all over my farm. They were over by the waterfall this morning, and I don't call letting bog bodies wander around protection. I'll take care of the bog bodies. Then we'll talk about the gold. Over by the waterfall. Good luck. I need some help, clearing bog bodies from the swamp. Good luck finding it. Yeah. You see, I was thinking you could help me. See? Now you're almost sounding perceptive. So how about you get moving? I knew you were going to be trouble. Follow me. Waiting for. Now you'll get it. Ah. 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 
Follow me. Oh, 
Have all your kind die. Waiting for We have to keep moving. It's gonna take me a week to get the stink off my sword. You said you were bored standing guard duty. Yeah, right. Thanks. Relax. I dealt with those bog bodies. Now that is a relief. I knew you weren't all bad. Here, take this as a thank you. Thanks, but I am still going to need that protection money. Here, take it. I hope I can get some peace now. Leave me be. Protection money is due. Hand it over. Yeah, here you are. <laughs> Don't need to get rough. Here, one beer for some information. Hey, 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 you got one. Huh. You're beautiful. Here, this bottle's on me. I thank you. You are a gentleman, sir. A poet, and you're definitely not an asshole. Thanks. Rogar sent me to collect the money you owe him. So, he's got you working for him. Thought you might have a bit more sense. Here, take it. Hope you choke on it.
about Brogar? Brogar's demanding protection money from people and wants me to collect it. Hmm. You need Brogar on your side, but you don't want to end up like Dorgan. Dorgan? Dorgan was the last one to collect protection money for Brogar. Now he's disappeared. Dorgan is dead. I found him in a cave. Well, protection rackets aren't known for being safe things to get involved in. It looked like wild animals had killed him. Be careful. You don't want to end up like that. Thanks. That advice isn't exactly easy to follow. I found this note in Dorgan's pocket. That's a handy thing to have. Dangerous too, if certain people discover you have it. All right. Here's the list Dorgan had. You're smart. Were you smart enough not to tell anyone else about this list? Only Rachel. Rachel? Are you fucking crazy? Are you out of your little fish mind? Calm down. You'll burst something. You'd better hope I don't get any trouble because of this. Seems to me you're still alive. You'd better have a long, hard think about whose side you're on, little fish. So about that little job I'm doing for you. What if I run into problems? It's your job, so it's your problem. I'm owed 200 gold. I don't care how you get it. Squeeze it out of them, or find it another way. But don't come back with any less. Right. Should I collect money from Sam? No, Sam works for me. Good man. Knows the value of being discreet about his work. Got it. Who exactly am I meant to be collecting from? You got a hole in your head. Anyone who isn't one of my boys. Oscar the Smith. The workers, Hawkins, Enrico, Brannan and Dwight. The hunters, Doug and Lewis. And that swamp farmer, Robar, and his farmhand, Obel. And hurry it up. There's no one left to collect from. Right. So where's my 200 gold coins? I did the work. I'm keeping the gold. I knew you were shifty. Think you can get one over on Brogar, eh? Well, you've got a big shock coming, little fish, when you least expect it. What would happen if the Don found out about your little scheme, Brogar? Ha! The Don doesn't give a shit what's going on in this camp, not anymore. This place needs a strong leader. Not someone who lets the Inquisition walk in and then hides away like a dying dog. Brogar, I challenge you to fight me in the arena. You ain't worth the walk. I fought and defeated all your fighters. Will you face me now, or are you a coward? Show a little respect, little fish. I'll fight you. Maybe that way I can teach you some respect. Nobody will face me in the arena. That's one of the biggest compliments they can pay you. Yes, but I haven't faced Brogar. Ah, that's a different world altogether. Brogar won't fight just for the hell of it. His position in camp is built on his brawn and his ruthlessness. He can't afford for anyone to beat him in combat. It would weaken his power, so he's wary, as you should be. I know what I'm doing. You'd better. I want to make a bet. I think I can beat Brogar in the arena. 
I think he'd turn you into paste. But first, you'd have to get him to fight you. That's hard enough. I'll find a way. Looks good. I think that's cooked. You're ready for this! You're ready for this! Ha! Ah, ah.
Not bad. I'm impressed. Stay in my good books and I can make something of a scrapper like you. I think I can make something of myself. You get too cocky with people, it'll be a grave you're making for yourself. Hey, I took the liberty of lifting that piece of the sword blade from you. You thieving bastard. Rob a man when he's down, would you? You'd have done the same to me, Brogar. About Brogar. I defeated Brogar in the arena. I did hear that. That must have been some battle. Now keep the pressure on him. You're getting close to nailing the bugger. Brogar went down. You beat him. You really beat him. We're all human. Brogar? Human? Ha! <laughs> well. Here are your winnings. One thing, Brogar won't let this lie. I know. I want to make a bet. So, anyone else for me to fight? Nah, no one springs to mind. Surely you've got other things to get on with. People like you usually have. By the way, I collected all the money for Brogar. Now what? If my husband learns about this, he'll have Brogar killed on the spot. Then he'll give me hell for not keeping an eye on things. Perhaps if you go to Brogar and tell him what you know, threaten to pass it on to Esteban, maybe he might buckle. That would help keep things calm here for a while at least. Well, I'll try talking to him.
I'm thinking maybe I should tell the Don what I know, Brogar. About what? My protective, supportive funds? You think he'd believe a little fish like you over me? We'll see, shall we? Look, let's not get into a fight over this. I ain't forgotten the last one. I'll quieten things down, okay? Just don't think you can keep pissing me off. Wouldn't dream of it. Right. Good. Glad we got that clear. I now have all the pieces of the sword blade. I was right. It is a beautiful piece of work. Good job it has me to return some life to it, eh? And you still stand in there staring at me? Supposes I owe you some sort of reward? Come back when I've finished the sword. I'll show you what a true craftsman can make. Here, from the ashes comes the phoenix, eh? Fucking beautiful, isn't it? It's a sword. A sword. A sword? You see the way the light catches it? The way I blended a fucking sword? You're an arse. Sorry. I think I'll keep this. Ha. <laughs> right. Give it back. I said, give me the sword. You fucker. You planned this. You just wanted the sword to get to the Don. You're gonna regret crossing me. Go fuck yourself. By the way, you were right. Brogar folded. Thank you. That will help calm things for now. Don't worry, that's not an end to it. When he's least expecting it, I'll slip something in his food. I know poisons that will work slowly to turn a person inside out over several weeks. Hmm. I might just stay away from your cooking in the future. Here, you've earned a reward. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let Esteban know about this. He'd just blame me. I'm not interested in getting you in trouble. Now that's out of the way, I'd better get back to work. Thanks for all your help. You find anything else? Let me know. I need a place to sleep. Hmm. Take Brogar's hut. I don't think anyone's going to dispute your right to it. Well, I arrived here with just a mouthful of sand. So a shack in the swamp is a step up, I suppose. I heard the Don was interested in a sword. A golden sword. Well, I've got it. Are you serious? So you actually found all the pieces? That's amazing, you can't even tell it was broken. Oscar certainly knows his metals. Surely this is enough to get me an audience with the Don. Are you kidding? He'll probably divorce me and marry you. I'm guessing that means I can go in. Let Sam go hunting. Okay, okay. Aren't you the soft-hearted one? Looks like you're moving on, Brogar. The Don's given me your hut. You better watch your step, little fish. Cause as soon as you stumble, my blade will be waiting. Yeah, yeah. Don't think I won't be ready for you. You won't see me coming, little fish. You can stop worrying about Brogar. I've dealt with him. You're quite something. With him gone, I just hope the Don will find his old self again. But that's me talking about us, and I get the sense you've already outgrown us. You've got a spirit of adventure. This swamp isn't going to be good enough for you. Well, guess I'd better get back to my own work, eh? Good luck with wherever you go.
Go fuck yourself. Hey, you there. What do you want? Oscar says hello. He paid me to knock you around a little. A lot, in fact. Right. So, either you give me more than Oscar did, or I tie your testicles round your neck. Let's talk about this. Gold or a pounding? What part of that didn't you understand? So how much did Oscar pay you? Fifty. Gold. Ah. Here's my answer. Screw you. <laughs> you just screwed yourself. Time for a little lesson. <laughs> yeah! Let's see some blood. Ah. Come on. Ah. Ah. Get him. Ah. Use your sword, you arse. Ah. Use your sword, you arse. Again. Ah. Come on! Go on! Ah. Ah. Again! Ah. Come ah. on! Ah. Ah. Get him! Ah. I want to improve my fighting skills. You're looking ruffled. You run into some trouble? That was you saying hello, was it? You mess with someone's livelihood. Revenge is their undeniable right. Fine. Then let's count us even. I want to learn metalworking from you. Maybe it would help to have someone around. But you give me even two acres of shit, and you're out. You're the smith. I want to learn metalworking from you. About your camp. You don't have to worry about your food supplies anymore. Sam is back out hunting. So I heard. You've got a knack for this. Here, take this gold. Don't spend it too quickly. I've got everyone back to work on the tasks you'd given them. Well, you're not like everyone else around here, are you? I'm impressed. There has to be more that needs doing. Single-minded, aren't you? No, but here's something as a thanks. Hopefully this camp will run a little smoother from now on.
Let's trade. Can you teach me about hunting? Teach me the right way to sneak. Moving quietly is about balance. Put your feet down, toes first. Watch where you step in. Russian twigs underfoot can be noisy, give you away. So move slowly and watch your path. Show me how to gut animals. You slit the prey from the head toward the back. Then you pull the hide from the body with a jerk. With the right equipment, you can also remove animals' horns or teeth. Many hunters will sell you the necessary tools. Think I want to spend time with you? Swim away, little fish, before the water gets too deep. Wouldn't want you drowning, would we? I want to improve my fighting skills. I want to be stronger. You're learning. I want to be stronger. At least something's sinking in. I want to be stronger. Good. I want to improve my fighting skills. I want to be stronger. You're learning. Stow smart move. Good. You're the smith. I want to learn metalworking from you. Can you teach me how to forge metal? Listen up and no pissing around. You want to make a sword, you need a blank. First, you heat the blank, keeping the heating even. When it glows, then it's hot enough for you to beat into shape on the anvil. Then cool the blade in order to temper it. You use this whetstone to sharpen it. Any questions or smart-ass remarks? No, that's making sense. 
Thank you. Right. Of course, metalwork's not about swords. Get yourself a goldsmith's table and you can make jewellery. I can see what you're thinking, smartass. But try fucking around with someone that's got a magical amulet and see if you're still smirking. Magical pieces draw their power from the stone you set in them. I want to forge a bastard sword. You already know how to forge a sword, but for your larger kit, you have to change your technique. A large blade cools off faster, so you have to work faster and more precisely. Grab the hammer higher up, then you don't need as much power and you can work faster. That precision will also help you with goldsmithing. You can create finer and richer pieces of jewellery that way. I want to forge a two-handed sword. You have to make the hammer dance on the glowing blade. Fast, precise strokes. When you hear that special song of the unfinished blade, you're doing it right. That's how you bring out the very best properties of the metal and create a true masterpiece. I hope There's you know how to behave in someone else's house. What do I you want I need a here? hammer and tongs for that. You get it, don't you? Someone needs to do something. Sharper the better. It's giving me a headache. Only a little animal. I don't ask much. I'm sure you have things to deal with. Stop where you are. You ain't going another step closer to the Don. Guarding. Guess that's a really important job. Most important in the camp. I make sure people don't just stroll in to see the Don. He's very against strolling in. And I'm not pissing Rachel off or I won't get any grub. So, move along. Rachel says I can talk to the Don. Really? And I'm just supposed to believe you, eh? Shall I bring her here? I'm sure she'd be delighted to know her orders aren't being followed. Yeah, yeah, all right. I get the picture. Go in, but don't annoy him, or Rachel will be serving up both our guts for lunch. Don't you have some place to be? You might want to talk to the Don before you speak to me. How many? Ten, twenty, or more? Boom banger bang. The worst failures in alchemy. Hmm. Someone needs to see this place, right? Unless the Don send you with business, I don't have time for you. Gold and water. The secret treasures of the desert. I'd return to the mainland. Is it your habit to walk into places unannounced? Who are you? A castaway. I've come to offer you my services. A castaway? I need true men. Lucky men. You saw your ship wrecked beneath you. Do you see that as luck? When all but one other died and I lived? I call that luck. Hmm. Well, I suppose we're all castaways on this island. Cast away by life, now cast away by those storms. I'll give you a chance, castaway. Prove your luck to me. Your wife, Rachel, trusts me. <laughs> and now you suppose that I trust my wife.
There are people stirring the camp against you. People getting rich from your gold. I can tell you who. Ah, you think this is news? People crave gold. They covet power. Until they have it. I can offer you something others don't. Loyalty. Loyalty is proven, not spoken. Words are just breath. You expect me to beg for your interest? You should be begging me. Now that's more like it. Pride. Pride gets eaten alive in this damn swamp. It gets swallowed by anger, poisoned by idleness. Sometimes I think Fincher is the only man jack of them left with any self-worth. And Fincher told me that you have pride. But do you have substance? I am in need of pride. So I shall give you a chance to prove yourself, Castaway. I'd like to know more about what's happening here. Why are you and your men in this swamp? The Inquisitor has his claws stuck deep into the flesh of this island. A firm grip on the harbor town and the monastery. Well, that's what he thinks. That's what others see. The Inquisition's numbers growing. Men dragged into his service. What I see is a man making enemies. A man wasting his strength against the creatures in the ruins. So we wait here, the spider in the corner of the web, and we bide our time. What was it like before the Inquisitor was here? Corrupt, as any land ruled from the mainland. Governor after governor bleeding the people, courting favor. When their men, the garrison, were withdrawn to the mainland, we were ready. I took control in the name of the people. The brothels were clean, the prices fair. Men had dignity, pride. Then the earth shook, the temple ruins rose, and the Inquisition and all their ways came after them. Why here? Of all the places they could have gone, why did they come here? The Inquisitor is hiding something from us, but I shall find a secret. And in the meantime, I shall strip as much as I can from those ruins. With gold, with gold, you can fight power. What is the Inquisitor looking for in the temple ruins? White robes take everything they discover to the monastery. And there the mages are working to unlock some secret. This much I do know. So far they've avoided this temple. But for how much longer? Do the white robes attack you and your men? Right now, they are avoiding open war. But if they don't find what they're searching for elsewhere, I'm sure we can expect their eyes to turn to us. What do you plan to do? I want my town back. It is our town. It belongs to the people of this island, not the mainland. For that reason, I left some of my men there when we withdrew. Gathering intelligence, frustrating the plans of the Inquisition. They were supposed to be sending me information, and I've heard little recently. These aren't times when plans run smoothly. How can I help you? Find out what is happening in Harbour Town. Find my men. I have no idea if my men are alive, imprisoned, dead, or worse, if they have defected. Go there. Discover the truth for me. What are the names of your men in Harbour Town? No, no, I don't trust you well enough for that. Go to the town and find them. And if you don't, and you are captured, without names there is still a chance they can stay free. I won't put my men in danger. How do I get into Harbour Town without being seen by the Inquisition? The town's rear gate is guarded by the Old Town Botch. They are men without a master, and their loyalty can be bought with a little gold. When everyone is corrupt, in gold you trust. If I'm to serve, I'll need better armor. Favors are earned. Prove your value and favor will follow.
I am willing to go to the town for you. Good. Go and find if my people are still loyal. Uh, one more thing. Yes. The Inquisitor. Gather all the information you can about him. Here in this hole, I am deaf and blind. I have to know what that fanatic is planning. For my people. For my island. About your pile of gold. You will be paid your due. Or was there more to that question than greed? Not every man feels they get their share. Brogar is betraying you and lining his own pockets. He's using his fighters to extort protection money from the others under your command. Brogar has always had his schemes. And in this time, when your men grow restless and afraid, you want them paying money to him and blaming you for their misery? If what you say is true, I will stretch Brogar's neck. You are right. It is time an example was set. I've heard that too. So, the Don's giving you a chance. Yes. Lucky you. Lucky me. I know what it looks like, him skulking in that temple. Let me give you some advice. Don't underestimate him. He's just waiting for the right time. This island is the Don's, and he's gonna take it back. What do you do for the Don? I take care of things for him keep an eye on people. Right now, that mostly means the Inquisition, these white robes. These excavation sites are on our island. What right of the Inquisition to take everything? If you're not going to let them take you, you best get yourself some training. Are you expecting the Inquisition to attack you? They're building up their forces, pushing closer every day. It's only a matter of time before they try and overrun us. What do you mean they're taking everything? They're everywhere. A group of them even settled not far from the swamp in the southeast. They've been looting the temple ruin that shot out of the ground there. If we could capture that outpost, it would keep them off us for a little longer. Give those beasts chance to whittle down their numbers. Why haven't you captured it? Who is supposed to keep the white robes away? Brogar and his fighters. Brogar won't risk himself. Brogar won't be leading anyone anywhere. He will if the Don says so. He betrayed the Don. Someone else will need to lead his men. Hmm. And who, in your opinion, should lead his fighters? I'll do it. You will. No one else here is doing anything. Someone needs to lead. It's time for action. All right, go. Tell the fighters I sent you. Lead that attack, and get those white robes off our backs. What can I do for you? Perhaps some healing? What can you offer for healing? Ah, I have potions to ease your wounds. I'm well versed in the art of alchemy and prepare all potions myself. You're a mage, and you serve the Don. Someone has to take care of the boys here. It falls to me to do so. It's an honor, and it allows me to do what I need to. The boys here are a little exuberant, but we have an arrangement. I heal them, and they leave me to carry out my studies in peace. You study? Certainly. There is much to discover here. Like, for example, the magic barrier in the lower vaults. Could you teach me something about alchemy? That depends. Are you ready to learn? Is your mind open to the knowledge? Am I ready to teach you? Yes, I think I am, but there are dangers. This is not a discipline to be taken lightly. I shall guide you, but you must beware. Surely not much can go wrong with mixing potions. Normally, no. But the ingredients we use here are strange. We are far from the mainland, and the materials we are finding in these temples have unknown properties. My last experiment was almost literally my last, if you understand. So be warned. Tell me more about your studies. 
I am fascinated by those that built this temple, unraveling their ancient dangerous secrets. This stone, for example. Obsidian, these ancients called it. Hugely resilient. It served them as a raw material for their weapons and armor. Weapons made of this would be very damaging. So, if someone could find any weapons they had left behind... What can you tell me about the monastery? It was a place of reflection and study. A place of meditation. Now, though, it is little more than a brutal training ground for the Inquisitor. Where one silence and thought reigned, now there is the sound of quarterstaffs clashing as the Order's warriors practice. But there are those there who remain studious, who keep the Order's knowledge. Is there anyone there who will share this knowledge? Hmm. You could try Master Iluma. He teaches scroll making. Simple magic it may be, but it would be a good idea not to underestimate the power of scrolls. Thank you. I will talk to him if I see him. I would. You won't regret it. What magic barrier? They were clever, the builders of this place. They did not rely on just iron and stone to keep people out. They knew the power of magic, too. If you ever venture deeper into the temple, you'll find that out. And this isn't the only place on the island they protected with magic. What must I do to acquire the skills needed in magic? That path leads you to the harbor town. I think you should start your search for magic there. Do you have things to sell? What can you teach me about alchemy? I don't care what the law says, it can't go on like this. He's a dumb madman, I tell you. Do not touch what is not yours. How did an ogre wind up guarding gold for an outlaw? Don Esteban saved my life. Now I owe him that life. I, Karakos, work for Don Esteban and for my honor. That's a lot of gold you have there. It is from the ruins. The Don's men gather it like bees. I am the bee's sting. The Don must trust you to leave you with all his gold. Don Esteban says, there is no one better than Karakos. Honor is what matters to me. Gold does not bring honor, only greed. Looks like the Don couldn't have found a better guard. Some people have tested Karakos. None have passed. I can believe that. The disloyal find death. The loyal I train to defend Don Esteban. You train the men here? Don Esteban needs strong arms and sharp axes. I want to improve my fighting skills. Don wants this, the Inquisitor wants that. What about what we want? Well, I would. By the way, Don Esteban knows about the business with Brogar. If you want real change, you can't keep things from him. But I asked you not to. We sorted it, didn't we? What's the use in worrying him now? Things might not be good here, but Esteban had found some peace, and now you just go.
Fincher wants us to assault the Southeastern Temple. You've got guts. I'll give you that. Fincher wants us to assault the Southeastern Temple. Do I have a choice? Fincher wants us to assault the Southeastern Temple. I'm a thief, not a fighter. Oh, all right. Fincher wants us to assault the Southeastern Temple. Right. Suppose I better get moving then, eh? Nothing new for you. Fincher wants us to assault the Southeastern Temple. Well, at least something's finally happening around here. Fincher wants us to assault the Southeastern Temple. Beasts I don't want to touch. White robes. They deserve a pounding. No one gets the better ah. of me. These creatures will never learn. Come on, after him. Keep running. You will be found. You and me, uh, you can run! What? Not even one coin?
Hey, stop that. You and me, let's uh, get You em. can run. I've got his comeuppance. I'm glad that bastard is dead. Keep running. You and me, let's get you him. can run. Ah! You have no blood! Uh, ah, uh, uh, got his comeuppance. Who could teach me to pick locks? I got rid of the white robes that were in the southeast. What's this got to do with me? Go to Fincher or go to the Don. Just leave me out of it. I will fight you! <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Ah! All these things should die. I will fight you. Yes! I will fight you. Ah! ah! Hell. All these things should die. I will fight you! That creature won't cause us any more trouble. Rotten hell!
I think I'll have to study alchemy. Now who could teach me to pick locks? There's something here about magic. Let's trade.
How many? The white robes that were in the temple have gone. Don Esteban will be pleased with you. Time to collect the spoils of war. The white robes were collecting artifacts up there. Our workers should bring those crates back here. I'll take care of it. A man of action. Let me know when you've finished. Don wants this, the Inquisitor wants that. What about what we want? Rudolph's men are dead. Yes, I heard. And so the Inquisition's grip weakens. Take some gold for your news. Don't tell anybody, even if they don't want to listen. You can't tell them. I've got a new job for you. Let me guess. Lugging crates. That's what you're paid to do. The crates at the Southeastern Temple need to be brought back here. And do I get a choice in this? Huh. I should have been a fighter. Try the sleep. What have you done? Brogar is furious, and I mean really furious. If he catches you, there's no knowing what he'll do. Where is he? I don't know. He headed into the swamp in the south, and that's the last we saw of him. He had to run. The Don's gonna turn him into... Yeah, I know what he'll be turned into. It won't be pretty. Brogar's never been pretty. The artifact crates over at the small temple ruin need to be recovered. Anything else? Beppo, you, everyone thinks they can have a go. You know, if you smile while you work, it makes you feel better. If I drop dead, it will be your fault. Hey, Brannon, the artifact crates at the small temple ruin need to be brought back. That's the White Robes territory. There are no White Robes there anymore. Really? Well, okay then. I'll go and get those crates. I have a new job for you. You do? The artifact crates at the temple over in the southeast. They need moving. And there might be something in the crate that stops the spirits. You can count on me. I'm sure you have things to deal with. Town will be safe for a while, they say. They say. Hawkins and the workers are taking care of the crates from the temple. Good. A little more for us and a little less for the Inquisition, hey? Eh? How is the search for new excavation sites going? Hmm. If we want to increase our gold reserves, we'll have to expand our search. There are a few promising areas on the island that the White Robes haven't reached yet. But as long as the Inquisition is breathing down our necks, I daren't look the other way. Can you tell me where these promising areas are? There's a cave to the east of the island. Rumor has it there's a temple entrance there that's still sealed. Someone should take a closer look at it. I'll look for this temple, see if it is still sealed. All right. Here, I'll mark where the entrance is on this map. 
Once you've found it, report to me immediately. While you're at it, you should also keep a lookout for some good treasure seekers. You might be able to find some seekers in Harbor Town if they haven't been recruited by the White Robes. If we want to search the Eastern Temple properly, we'll need a couple of experts. Have you got a decent map of the island? Make sure you get those seekers to the temple. The map should have everything you need on it. Thanks. You need treasure seekers? I'll find you some. Good luck. The White Robes will have recruited most of them by now. But if you can find some good ones, it'll be worth your while. You'll need some. It'll be difficult to empty a temple as big as that without help. Thank you. 